Well, I don't think we are participating in the Human in a Thousand Genomes project, or we have started any uh, major project on um, cataloging uh, genomic variation across populations in India. Um, we should be doing it, and I think it's immense. It'll be it's going to be immensely useful for various kinds of um, studies, including cancer genome studies and all of the various population genetic studies. Unfortunately, uh, there has not been an initiative within India, and these are you know sequencing is. Uh, takes a lot, lot of money and therefore we need to be able to find the money as well. Two things happen, number one, because many of these diseases are complex and therefore depending on what are the natures of genomic variation in the populations, uh, you may be able to map some diseases or genes for some diseases more easily in certain populations than in other populations. So that the initial study design comes from these uh, kinds of work on, um, on, on genomic variation across populations. The second is uh, the, uh, we now know that lots of genomic variations are responsible for um, how different kinds of drugs are going to impact on the individual. And because of the differences in the constellations of genomic uh, uh, variations across populations, some drugs may um, work in one population and may not work in another population. To be able to predict which drug will, wor will work in what, which population, we actually need to figure out how much of diversity there is across populations and what kind of diversity is inherent within a population. That's something that's very, very difficult to predict, but I think the way that, uh, you know, genomic sciences in India is going, I think it's uh, the pace of uh, uh, escalation is very, very high. And um, so uh, it's my belief that in the, in the future, we are going to have uh, lots of data that's being generated from India, particularly uh, given that our science budget has also increased. Um, this is really the time when we are generating data and we hope that we'll be able to generate more data. It's difficult to give a prediction with respect to time when these data will become available such that it is translated, can become transla translatable to the common masses.